Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm here today with teammate Carl Almeida, and we are presenting you an absolutely awesome 1977 GMC 1500 4x4 that has been slightly customized. This thing is packing a 400 V8, and it's absolutely bad to the bone. Come check it out. To start off this uh, presentation here, this is a non-rehearsed video. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. We are very proud to say we're the only classic car dealership in the country who services everything we sell and we document the work with an invoice. In this particular situation, uh, Carl, which I'm gonna get into in a minute, um, did a lot of the service work here on this vehicle. Uh, so it's gonna be done a little bit differently regarding the invoice than you normally would see. But point being is we have gone through the vehicle completely. Regarding the detailing work, we go through these vehicles from top to bottom. We make them as detailed as they ever can be. And then of course, when they're finished, we do amazing photography. You gotta make sure to check out everything on our website at msclassiccars.com. Again, there's a full description on there. This is a non-rehearsed video. I'm sure there's gonna be some information I forget, so please make sure, again, to check out that description. So to start off uh, this presentation here, I am gonna start off by saying the reason that Carl uh, is in the vehicle today is because this vehicle was presented to us uh, from a previous customer that we had done business with. Carl has been with me uh, from the beginning in MS Classic Cars. Uh, matter of fact, he's been with me uh, longer than anybody else in the company has. You can see that on our About Us page. So Carl really has been through everything with me from start to finish. Uh, so he does a, a great job uh, helping when we find cars to sometimes handle paperwork, sometimes he'll go inspect the vehicles, uh, use our truck and trailer. He does all the auctions. You might recognize him from Barrett Jackson, et cetera. Uh, so again, he's a great help. So the gentleman we actually purchased a vehicle from a while back, it was a Chevy Nova. It was a supercar. We actually sold it at Barrett Jackson uh, in Houston. Uh, it was an awesome vehicle. He contacted Carl uh, and basically said that he had this amazing 77 GMC Jimmy that was for sale. Uh, so Carl went and looked at the vehicle. He was blown away by the condition of it. So we moved forward and we purchased it. Uh, this is where the story gets a little bit interesting is rather than bringing the vehicle up to uh, the dealership, we have warehouses where we keep all of our inventory and put it under a cover until we could get to it in service and detail. Uh, Carl decided to keep the vehicle, uh, which was supposed to be maybe for a month. It turned into two months, three months, and four months. And lo and behold, he had it over the entire summer. Uh, so Carl can attest to the fact 
that he drove this vehicle from Seekonk to Boston. He drove it all over uh, God's great creation, this earth here. He put 1,600 miles on it. Uh, we did include a photo in our gallery that he took down in Newport in front of this beautiful house in the background. Uh, his wife went with him, his niece went with him. Uh, he just had a super, super time driving this. He can definitely attest to that. Absolutely. So it only makes sense for Carl to do the driving video and kind of put the icing on the cake. So I want to make sure I clarified why he was here today uh, and so forth. So I'm going to read um, this first paragraph uh, off of my website description that I've composed. Uh, it kind of just gives the quick history uh, and so forth. This stunning 1977 GMC Jimmy 1500 4x4 is loaded with options including air conditioning and is super exciting to drive, which I just mentioned a minute ago. Uh, not every vehicle that looks beautiful uh, is a pleasure to drive. And when you get one that actually is functional like this one, it makes a huge difference. The GMC Jimmy was an upscale corporate twin to the Chevrolet Blazer SUV. GMC introduced the Jimmy in 1970, a year after Chevrolet introduced the Blazer uh, in 1969. The Jimmy, like the Blazer, was redesigned in 1973 and shared all the Blazer's drivetrains. The full-size Jimmy would become the Yukon in 1992 when it was redesigned onto the GM T400 platform. As the VIN number documents, this vehicle was built in Fremont, California as a 1977 GMC Jimmy 1500 4x4 with a 400 V8 engine. So what I did is I went on the internet. This is a brand new binder that I include with every vehicle that I sell. I put a plastic sleeve on here. What I did is I decoded the VIN. I put this in the photo gallery so you can clearly see what it says. But again, GMC 4x4, 400 V8, 1500, which would be a half ton, 77 Fremont, California. So again, it's really good when you can decode VIN numbers and tell you what these vehicles were when they were born and built from the factory. So from the information that was gathered um, from the previous owners, uh, after the restoration was completed, uh, of course, some of this information was transpired. Um, it spent most of its life in California, which makes sense because it was built in California, spent most of its life in California, and therefore it was a perfect candidate for a restoration. It was clearly restored, as you'll see in all the photos, to show quality standards. Again, MS Classic Cars purchased this vehicle. It was January of 22. Uh, we added 1,600 miles by yours truly over here. Now the car, ha the vehicle has 4,592 miles since completion. So that kind of sums up a little bit of the history of the GMC Jimmy, the history of this particular vehicle here. And now what we'll do is we'll get into our uh, presentation. So what I'd like to start off first by saying is certain vehicles have that wow factor and this Jimmy has that wow factor. Carl will tell you that no matter where he would go, everybody loves this Jimmy. Uh, we took it over to service a few times, showing the crew and everything else, and one of our uh, landlords over at service there, Bill Higby, he saw it, his daughter saw it, it was like everybody gravitated toward it, want to know who, you know, what the deal was, who it was, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so everybody loves this vehicle. It's got huge, huge eyeballs. Uh, talking about the body, a lot of times if you go online and you look at the body on these vehicles, they're just not typically done to a high level. Uh, this is very, very straight. Um, we never really got information regarding what uh, on the vehicle was original regarding the sheet metal, but we think that a lot of the sheet metal is original. And again, it's in really, really nice condition. When you look at uh, how the hood fits, how the doors fit and everything else and how they open and close, again, uh, it's really good. The vehicle was repainted um, in a very similar color to the original air correct color of mahogany. Uh, that was a 77 GMC color um, and they did a stunning job on the paint. So the paint is definitely show quality. It looks absolutely beautiful. All of the areas on the vehicle that you see that is in white, I'm referencing the top of the roof. Um, you will see in our photo gallery the hard top because this clearly is a convertible. The hard top is white. The hood is white. 
you'll see the center section of the body is white and you'll notice that the tailgate is white. That is all vinyl wrapped. So if the new owner decides at some point down the road they want to make it more of a monotone, they can peel all the vinyl off uh, and have a little bit different look. But the goal when they were doing this white vinyl in these unique stripes that are on the hood was to make it look uh, very close to the factory uh, upgraded package for the Jimmy, which was referenced as the ZY5 package. That's what they offered back in this time frame. And when they did the restoration, uh, that's clearly what they wanted to do is they wanted to give it a little bit of that uh, ZY5 look. Can't say enough about it. The guys did a great job detailing it. Now, when we look at all the glass in the vehicle, the front windshield, the rear glass, I'm referencing the one in the tailgate, I'm referencing this door glass here, is all brand new. CCC is the company that all the glass was supplied from. It's in beautiful condition, crystal clear glass. Again, most of the time when you look at these vehicles, they have original old scratch glass. When they did this restoration, they really want to do it to a high level and they replaced all the glass. The only thing that's original regarding the glass is the vent glass. Okay, this is original here. It's stamped with the uh, flow uh, light and so forth from uh, GMC back in the day. So these two uh, vent windows here are original uh, and so forth. When we look at everything else on the exterior, talking about the glass trim around the windshield, talking about these chrome mirrors, talking about the bumpers, the front grill, even the grill vents that are gray in the front, uh, everything on the exterior of this Jimmy has been restored or replaced and it is in show quality condition. One of the upgrades to the exterior is the headlights. It does have an LED modern style headlight, so it does have really good visibility at nighttime. Again, you gotta check out the photos and clearly see the attention to detail that they put into this. This is truly a nut bolt restoration. Uh, now, you'll notice it's sitting on custom wheels. These are obviously not the factory wheels. These wheels are US mag. They're referred to as Indy. They're kind of like a brushed look. I think they're perfect for this vehicle. And of course, those wheels are wrapped with brand spanking new uh, BF Goodridge. They're all terrain TA tires. They got some good knobbies to them. They look really good. And the other thing that Carl had commented on, uh, which he'll vouch for, is when you're driving this thing down the highway, a lot of times when you get these big mutter wheels and stuff like this, you get a lot of noise. This is actually pretty pretty quiet with all things considered. And again, these give you like a pretty uh, comfortable ride. Um, so again, can't say enough about the exterior. Uh, we are again gonna make sure to have pictures in our photo gallery with the hard top on. Uh, so you make sure to check that out as well. Getting into the interior. Uh, I have to tell you, sitting in this interior truly feels like I'm sitting in a brand new vehicle. Uh, if you said we were looking at a vehicle on the showroom floor from 1977, I don't know what I would see in here that would make me feel like that wasn't the case. First, I'll start off by saying that this headliner here is super tight. It's kind of a soft gray material. The sun visors are actually really thick and sturdy. Even the pieces that hold the sun visors in are brand new. So again, these don't fold down and so forth like a lot of them do. They don't have wrinkles in them. Brand new rear view mirror. The dash is in absolutely beautiful condition. I would assume that dash was either restored or completely replaced. The entire uh, gauge bezel, which is all black, brand spanking new. I love the gauges in this vehicle. It's got a really, really nice gauge set up. They're all crystal clear and they're new. What I love most is it does have a tachometer. It has a 5,000 RPM uh, uh, gauge here that works beautifully. So it kind of gives you that feeling that you're in maybe like a little bit of a muscle car or what have you. Um, the heater and air conditioning control panel also is brand spanking new. Yes, we do have air conditioning. Car will test. This summer was a super hot summer. We got a heat wave in New England as most of the country did. And the AC in this thing blows ice, ice cold. Can't say enough about that. All the vents are brand spanking new. I'm referring to all the Astro vents. Uh, the radio down here, which is a cassette player, AM, FM, more of a modern new version of the old uh, is brand new. It does have tilt steering which is really nice. The column looks new. The steering wheel looks brand new. It has the GMC logo in the center. 
It even has cruise control uh, on here as well that is operating and working great. All the gauges work, the stereo works. It does have power locks, which work great, and it also has power windows, which work great. So again, you have all of your creature comforts that you look side in a vehicle. Again, we got bucket seats here, which were completely refoamed, recovered. We got brand new door panels. Make sure to check out the photos because what I love about these door panels is this nice scripted material that wraps around this black insert. It kind of gives you that little bit of that Western feel. Uh, again, the dash has got this nice simulated wood over the glove box area. It does have a new glove box insert as well. Again, the bucket seats are super comfortable. They've got armrests on here that fold down. Matching rear seat. There's seat belts in the front. There's seat belts in the back. It even has a beautiful console, which you can put your, your uh, drinks and so forth in here, cup holders, you got a storage compartment, even the gear shift uh, selector for the four wheel drive is in excellent condition. And to put the icing on the cake, it's got all brand new carpeting with matching floor mats. Again, you got to see the pictures of this thing. It is truly uh, spectacular. If I was sitting in this vehicle again, I would think that it was new. Uh, that's how it presents itself. Now, getting into the engine compartment. This is again where things typically when you go online and you look at a vehicle that's been done nicely on the exterior, or maybe the person did a nice job on the interior, then you open the hood and the thing kind of falls on its face. Not here. This gets equally as exciting when you open up this hood. The hood opens up really nice. The back of the hood was painted kind of like a satin black, and then it has a brand new uh, installation under the hood, which looks crisp. The hood hinges are black. The inner fenders are black. The whole radiator support is black, and the firewall is actually painted that uh, color, uh, which again is kind of close to that original mahogany color as the exterior. It's really, really clean in the engine bay. So, talking about the engine, we have what we believe to be the original 400 V8 engine. Uh, if you don't know anything about these 400s, they're a really cool thing. Uh, these vehicles came with the 400 as the VIN number indicates. There's no reason for us to believe that it's not the original engine, uh, but we could not find a VIN number to document and prove that it is. Uh, so we're not gonna claim it to be, we just believe it to be. But clearly that engine was rebuilt. Car will attest to the fact of how well it runs. It was painted in the correct shade of blue. Um, it even has the correct style black air cleaner. It's got a four barrel carburetor. Once you look in there, you'll clearly see all the AC and how well it was all organized. The radiator is beautiful. It never overheats. It cools beautiful. It's got a, a champion uh, battery. You'll notice that it does have power brakes. Uh, that's a, a big, I think it's a 12 inch booster, new master cylinder, all new hoses. Um, you'll even notice that one of the hoses that goes to the radiator is stamped with GM and so forth. The engine actually breathes out of the factory manifolds and it flows into a uh, Flowmaster 40 series muffler. It's got a really nice sound that you'll hear in a minute when I start it up. And the engine is coupled again to what we believe to be the original Turbo 350 automatic transmission. Uh, again, that was completely rebuilt. Um, the transfers case for the four wheel drive system, everything was gone through completely regarding the drivetrain. So as we make our way to the undercarriage, you will notice clearly that this vehicle does have a little bit of a lift. It's a 2.5 inch lift. The name of the shocks uh, I'd like to reference here. So make sure uh, you know exactly what they are. They're rough country premium shock absorbers, which are on all four corners. Um, you will see underneath that when they finished the undercarriage, it was done in kind of like a textured paint. That was done for durability. It's super clean underneath. All the nuts and bolts were gone through. The power steering system, again, it has power steering, was completely gone through. Uh, the power brake system, again, was completely gone through. It does have front disc brakes, rear drums. Um, the suspension system, as I just mentioned, was all gone through. Everything was cleaned up. And what I think is a really huge bonus is it does have a brand new uh, hitch and receiver on the back, 
with a seven-way electrical plug. So if somebody wants to tow something, a trailer, uh, maybe you got motorcycles, boats, another car, whatever the case might be, pull into that car show with this baby and you got something cool behind it would be really trick. But anyway, that kind of goes over the entire vehicle here. Again, you can call me with any questions. You can email me with any questions. All of our information is found uh, on our website. If you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do so. That's the best way to follow us. We have thousands of people on that list. You can also follow us on social media. We are on all the social media platforms. We really appreciate you watching. I'll say it over and over again that MS Classic Cars, we're not a high volume dealer. We don't do consignments, but we are a great dealership that's doing great things. So please do your homework on us. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start this baby up. We have not started this in probably three or four days. It is ice cold. It's gonna be a cold start. I just wanna show you how beautiful it starts cold. Pump it three, four times here and let her rip. You can't make that up, folks. Again, MS Classic Cars, rock and roll.